Hi folks, I'm just uh, Kent Richard here with my friend Emmanuel, just going to give us a little tour of what we did, what he did today, the unveiling today. So after you Emmanuel. Um, well, come on. <laughs> I like that. We had, we had a little show for the uh, travellers today. Yeah. Uh, we were celebrating the traveller community show. Uh, we did a couple of pieces that the statue there that we repainted and then um, we refurbished it and gave it a nice uh, Nice yeah, came out nice. Um, portraits, a Chrissy Ward. Right. Right. There's another portrait down this way. Yeah. And who? Is, that's uh, who is Chrissy Ward? Chrissy Ward is a local traveller woman. She's a she's a grandmother, and she's well known in the area. So that's uh, Chrissy. That's beautiful. Yeah. So that's her in a caravan. Right. Okay. So that's where the back. That's where it actually is then. That's in a yeah. caravan, yeah. Right. There's John Connors. Say hello. Hello, John. Hello. <laughs> this man's a genius. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well done. Well done. You are brilliant. As always. <laughs> How do you feel? Brilliant. Yeah. I'm glad that came out. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Fucking genius. I'm genuinely blown away by that. I don't know how you're able to do that. Um, um, you inspired me to lose weight again. So thanks for that. <laughs> and I just had a lasagna. And the John Wow. Isn't that gorgeous? I was worried I was worried people would say it doesn't look like it. Right, no, it's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful representation. But that's the show. That's right. Well, thanks Emmanuel. Yeah. Right. You know, I'll have to get you cruising with the count one day. Yeah, we will. Uh -huh. Alright, and the and, uh, Kentucky Fried will be on me afterwards. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, cheers Emmanuel. God bless. matter I'm sure, born to a mother on the side of the road, gave birth to a baby in winter wind. They moved her wagon with nowhere to go, packing her extra bundle just one day old. Walking the road in winter winds, in her body so much pain. Ireland never worried, only the Lord. Where were you born? It doesn't matter, I'm sure. Born to a mother on the side of the road. The trouble you get when you're born to a clan, a tinker, a traveller, with stars in your heart. Moving around with a jolly sound, blocking the pain from your heart. That's a poem about the day my mother was born. <laughs> Ishtar Kaylai, the traveller is she, a word from the arts. When Pete and myself first proposed that I do a project on the traveller camp, I was curious. He went on to explain that he was doing an audio project with Chrissy, John Connor's grandmother. I love painting people. I love to get to know new faces. But most of all, I really love to bring a smile to their face by painting their likeness in grand caps. I was invited to accompany Peter to meet Chrissy for the first time. He was a bit nervous, and I thought I'd better put on a three ways home to meet the big one. We arrived at the camp, and we were invited into Chrissy's caravan. It was met by an explosion of fancy colour and carefully arranged ornaments. She likes to keep antique ornaments around, polished and pristine. Every inch of shelf was full of them. And for me, being a traditional painter, this was heaven. I am a self person and my brother is a carpenter. Every house is minimalist and utilitarian in soil, so I seldom see on any dark. I marvel that all the ornaments include the small satellites of our only mother Mary and even the saints. I was compelled to paint them in the hope to capture just a glimpse of what I was like. I sat back surveying the interior as we sucked tea and ate tea. I noticed Chrissy pronouncedly leaning back with her head on the back as she told stories of her life. She was looking me up and down. So very diligent on my manners and suchness. I got a very strong sense that she was sizing me up and deciding whether I was a good person or not. 
This all made sense when she explained why her caravan was in the position it was in, just in the right spot to see who was coming. She is a very wise and true character for sure. The latest into this is the amazing grace and generosity she offered. I was very impressed by her character as we left for after her cups of tea. When I was at home, I got my work at my ease. I felt excited at the welcome I was shown that day. Of all the people, I was one who was allowed in to see. Allowed to ask questions and allowed to share. That evening, I brought on some little white music and began to drift off in my thoughts as I walked the paint. It wasn't long before I was dancing in my knickers around my easel, with visions of celebrating, settling camp after a long, long journey. The pot of tea was on and everybody was cheery. Somewhere deep in my ancient blood, I felt I knew this. This was a part of my history too. It was a strange poetry that welled up in my spirit as I danced in joy. I felt closer and in great appreciation of the folks on camera. The paintings I am presenting now are a gesture of thanks for being allowed in. The work is not just to acknowledge the very important work that John Connors is busy with in Darnley, but it is also to give thanks simply for Chrissy being there and being who she is. She's a lovely woman and a gem of a character in Darndale and she really does deserve a place in our gallery. If you were ever invited to the camp, make sure she can see you coming, preferably with some cake and a story or two to tell. I promise you, you will come away glad as I was when we first began this project. The following pages now contain contributions from the camp alongside my own. I hope you enjoy how the project developed and find the work interesting at least. If you ever want to know more, I'm sure the gates of the camp are open and the kettle is on. So we finally have water. We've taught it us. We've taught it us into a great trip for them. We're not complaining about them. Grand on the storm comes and then to turn up to stay down. I'm happy enough here, do you know? I'm happy enough. I'm near the shops. But young people is talking about showers and um, the very clean of their stuff. Years ago, they had to wait to go to the sea or the river, camp beside the river, <laughs> to get a wash. He says to me, grandsons, you have to hear washed off your head. If you're set washed away, your beauty is washed away. <laughs> well, we don't have an extra space, but we don't have it here. Maybe for the young fellas, well, the young ones for the shower and the, and the things like that, and their washing machines, but I couldn't care less, so that's, that's about the only thing they want. They want them out of the living. I haven't had enough of the old days. Most people does not even have a place like this, do you know? And they just, well, they had all the chance when they went to houses. And when I know when I went to set of people, I couldn't not in a lifetime could it be happening behind walls. Some people, um, it's all the corner to the area you're in. So if you're in a, 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 um, a higher class area, people are very suspicious of travellers. So travellers get very lonely then. So the day I come that there'll be no travellers. I think most of travellers is out in the fields is here in the Darnell area, to be honest about. Because there's nobody in. Um, People just don't mind them, you know, they don't mind the travellers, so. But it seemed to be alright, it seemed to be, it seemed to be fine to me, it seemed to get, well, they don't mix up big lab, but they mix some mixes. It seemed, seemed to be alright to me, they don't seem to be bothered, they seem to be grand, time God. Like, like this, Travis is very good, has to be very good in this area, you know, the average good in this area. Because the situation is, the Travis is not going to be a cup here. 
Sleep, get the dance reports, they can go into a restaurant, they can get food delivered to the door, they can get a taxi delivered to the door. I think we said, there's so much fear, but if you know how much an old hand is around you, you shouldn't have fear, you know, you shouldn't have fear of travellers. Because for instance, like the travellers are not killers here, and they don't do anything really vicious. So I think it's time for just, um, you know, open, open the door for travellers, because if they don't open the door, they're staying in culture, they took their culture away, and they're taking their traditions away, and they're taking their everything, everything is being removed from them. And it's some, there's too much being removed from the travellers, if you know what I mean. And it's not fair to take that much from them. And I think travellers should be left with their own tradition. If they want all the people who would accept sense, who would accept harm sense, who would cause them, that's what they want. And the one thing we said to people, fair enough, that's, that's what they should get. But they should take an example from the down there people. And, and then Coolip up here, there's two or three sites up in Coolip, not even a half a mile, a quarter of a mile up. So there's two or three sites up here in the Coolip area, so it's packed. It's packed with sites. And with this, if people can accept travellers, do you know what I mean? To accept them for who they are and not be trying to change away. Well, more travellers would keep their culture. Do you know what I mean? They could keep their culture and the way of life and the animals, their ponies. And, and, you know, there's, there's so much and they can live outdoors and they can have the fire outside, you know. And you could be, oh, the travellers was always welcoming the people, all the life they were very welcoming people. As you know, I've seen travel people coming from Belfast, the time of the troubles. But my mother opened the door for them and, and get them her own caravan, do you know what I mean? So people, uh, you know, it's, it should try and copy down there. I think they should. People should. Anybody wants it's a fear of travellers and a fear of letting a lot of sights in their own. They should. Get involved with the with the people in Ireland. You know, there's great groups over there, and they should uh, should give them a chance anyhow. See see how they behave. Because most travellers only want their own little group. Do you know, they only want their own little group. That's how we ever can work with our own little. We never can read crowds of people. We kind of kept our distance. Travellers usually kept their distance. They only meet up in a we say a fair or a town or a village or where to be travelling. And to meet up there. But they all said in a small group. But I think I think that that is really really people and to be honest about it. They're very good people and they're good Christians. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Now, if you come around, we're going to unveil the pages you can now gather in. All in, all in, all around. <coughs> right, so, this is uh, the first one I painted was Chrissy in a caravan. Wow.